2.2% growth during the 11th plan period. It, it, it doesn't prove anything. Ultimately, the per capita real domestic income is the most important indicator of economic growth. And Gujarat is coming there, Haryana first, Maharashtra second, and Gujarat third. So far, 2011-12 is concerned. Human Development Index, Gujarat is pathetic condition in terms of health, in terms of education, in terms of sanitation. Inclusive growth absolutely is absent. In terms of credit deposit ratio, Gujarat is fifth or sixth. Credit deposit ratio, Maharashtra is total share in total deposits, Maharashtra 26.6%, Karnataka 6.34%, Tamil Nadu 6.20%, Andhra Pradesh 5.42%, and Gujarat 4.70%. Why is this riling it no, up? No, no, just, just, may, no, 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 no. May I ask you today? Out of 35 may, may, states, let us put Mr. the debate, Bumbekar, I, now let us put the debate in proper perspective. I want to bring to the fore the one development minute. efforts which are made by Chhattisgarh, one minute. then Orissa, here's Bihar, Jharkhand. Here's a question. Here's a question. Please. If Tarun Gogoi had gone to Japan and made such a claim, exactly. there wouldn't have been as much or maybe one tenth of the reaction that Narendra Modi is. But why reaction? That's a question. Mr. Exactly. Mr. Exactly. Today there is a reaction all over that Narendra Modi has overdone it. He's no, crossed no, the line. There, there Dipinder Huda said that. Meghna Desai is smiling. Let me go across. Meghna Desai's first comment is absolutely right. Which Mr. Is? Narendra Godi, Modi is going to Japan for inviting investment. He just like should ordinary event. There is nothing to be agitated about it. It is just any other state, state minister, chief minister going to any other foreign country. Nothing more than that meaningful I can read. Oh, I, I said at the start of the program today that is this the run-up in 2014, uh, uh, no. the nature of the reaction. Narendra Modi is positioning himself for his uh, own no. party because by positioning himself globally, he becomes the default but candidate why for the BJP. why we are imposing what is happening today's status? Narendra Modi's response. Narendra, Modi uh, Narendra Modi, I congratulate his skill for marketing wrong product in the brilliant Meghna Desai is rebutting, Lord Jatinoza, right wrong. after that I am coming to you. Meghna Desai made. first. See, Arnab, Arnab read two yeah, things. Uh, Narendra Modi has set a trap and everybody has fallen into it. He has got maximum publicity for marketing something which may not be accurate, but he's got all the Indian politicians excited because he doesn't care about Japan. He, he wants to wind up Congress Varas. And unfortunately, they fall for it every time. You're quite right. Had Tarun Gogoi said it or, or anybody else has said it, nobody would have reacted. But Narendra Modi being sort of devil incarnate, everybody wants to uh, uh, counter him. My concern much more than Narendra Modi or per capita income numbers it's the fact that what happened in Manasar is a serious problem and nobody is taking, nobody is taking it on because there was a murder of an HR uh, officer there was serious violence and the Haryana government has to say something something important and significant as to how they are going to tackle that problem that to me is more important than, than uh, Japan or uh, or, or Gujarat. And that, that is the implicit argument. You are accused that tonight of making. not being decisive enough. Haryana, Haryana uh, the, and and Narendra Modi says that. He says, You're not, I am decisive. I offer political stability, he says. I think you heard his yeah, comments. Yeah, I think, uh, let me quickly uh, inform um, uh, Mr. Uh, I mean, Lord uh, Meghna Desai. Uh, just this evening, the top uh, management of Maruti, head, uh, headed by uh, Nakanishi San, who uh, is the CEO, I uh, had a uh, discussion with the Haryana Chief Minister and the, 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 it was decided that SIT which has been constituted would continue, they have full faith what in it. What have you done with they, the unions? They, they wanted a special prosecutor, Mr. Tulsi has what, been appointed. What have you done a, with the unions? Uh, Mr. Tulsi has been appointed a special have prosecutor. Have you taken on the unions? And let me, uh, have you taken on the unions? Uh, let me state it very clearly. As a, a member of parliament from that state, I completely disapprove of this, uh, what happened in uh, Manasar. Have you taken it on is, the is, unions? It is unfortunate, should not have happened and we Mr. will Huda, spare no Mr. No, Huda, Mr. Huda, no, Mr. Huda no, have you taken on the unions? Uh, 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 like, have you like, taken on the unions? Uh, like I said, we will spare no, uh, any, anybody 14, who is guilty will not people. be spared and Four, confidence 14. will be restored. And in fact, Mr. Ma, 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 Maruti, Maruti management after that meeting Mr. Huda. categorically said not only they are going to continue with Manesar Mr. and Gurgaon plant, they are going to set up their world's largest R&D facility Dipinder at the third Huda, location you are in Haryana. Taking my in question. You are not even looking this way because you want to give what you want to say what you want. I'm asking you tonight, what action have you taken against the unions? You have not touched any of the union leaders. There were 14 people present in the room when Avanish was 90, tied up and murdered. 90, 96 
96 employees have been arrested and you know Maruti itself, Maruti's management itself has expressed complete satisfaction of what has happened and let me again say out of those 96 people each and every person who is guilty will be not spared I mean, I don't know. I mean, there can be no uh, you know, excuses for what happened but in Manisa. But let me also say, as far as labor unrest is, is concerned, there is a reason why each now. year, in the, as far as the economic survey of India, it's Gujarat stops problem. Uh, as far as the labor, labor unrest is concerned. And Haryana is not, not even in the top five states, never. So, uh, the, the, uh, the, uh, the, uh, and overall environment, labor unrest environment in Haryana Narendra is Modi much better says, than Dipinda Hoda, Gujarat. Hear this, hear this. Narendra Modi says, Yati knows, I'm coming straight to you now. Narendra Modi says, in any country, investment is contingent on political stability. The people of Gujarat are mature. We have political stability because of which there is consistency in policies. And this consistency helps build confidence. This is a prepared speech, almost CEO-like speech, in which Narendra Modi is saying, you take me on, you accept me as an investment choice, globally accept me as the right choice for India, and I will get greater political stability into this country. The words, stability, political stability. Policies, absolutely, consistency. Absolutely this is a pitch right. that goes absolutely, beyond Gujarat. Yet it was a wise Narendra right. Modi making absolutely. making such a super aggressive pitch, which obviously goes he beyond Gujarat. Yes, sir. Right. He is absolutely right and justified in doing so. I agree with one of the speakers that let us not concentrate this debate on Haryana versus Gujarat or X state versus Y state. The hard reality of Gujarat is that when Narendra Modi took the reins of office as a chief <coughs> minister, Gujarat was known to be a middle class local business people. Industry and other things were completely foreign. It was not a backward but not at all a forward state. Look Indeed. at what Gujarat was 10 years back and what Gujarat is today. <coughs> and you will find a phenomenal change in Gujarat in so far as industrial investment, labor and management harmony, I, I heard Mr. Hutta uh, saying that we are I want to take you on we, on fact on that one. Do I have your permission, Mr. Rosa, to question you on fact? Can I can please. I put some facts to you, Mr. Rosa? Let's talk facts. Please, please. You're talking facts. Let me present some facts to you. Right? And if my yes. facts are wrong then you can say that all of your facts are wrong and I stand corrected, but if your facts are wrong today, I want you to take back what you just said. Is that understood? Yes. Mr. Rosa, my first fact to you is, let me take you back to 1991. Yes. And Narendra Modi yes. took over in 2001. That's a full 10 years before Narendra Modi arrived yes. on the scene. Out of the 18,028 villages of Gujarat, 17,940 were already electrified. That means 99.7% of Gujarat's know, villages am, were electrified am, 10 years but before I'm Narendra Modi arrived on this. Am, 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 am I wrong in that? And you are absolutely right. Minute. And I have all the figures so far in which is concerned. Mr. Oja is forgetting. Please permit me to answer. Let me make one. Surely you are in a slide. I think Mr. Rosa disagrees with what I presented. No. I don't disagree, but it's half truth. So far as number of villages you mentioned, I am in complete agreement. But what was the situation? For 24 hours at a stretch, there was no electricity supply. What Mr. Narendra Modi has gained is that uninterrupted 24 hours power supply to every village of Gujarat. And that is his biggest achievement. Not how many villages had electricity before he came, but what was the hard reality? Hard reality was no, that one hour in a day, half an hour in a day, they used to get electricity. The agricultural uh, operations had come to a standstill. There was no industrial revolution in rural Gujarat because of lack of uninterrupted power supply. I know just why I want to contest this. Mr. 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 Rosa, Mr. Rosa, your evaluation and Piyush Goel's 
expression Piyush Goyal less so you're saying that not, uh, you know Gujarat was a, was like a you know hardly a giant economy before Narendra Modi came in I don't know but I know that between 1994 and 2001 economy. which is the pre Narendra Modi period Gujarat state domestic product Piyush Goyal I'm throwing facts back at you Gujarat state domestic product grew at 10 to 13 percent that's 50 to 60 percent higher than the national average Six or seven years before Narendra Modi took over, present a fact contrary to that, Piyush Goyal. Is yeah. that fact also incorrect? My, my, my dear Arnab, we have again and again been saying what Narendra Modi has done is what somebody else was trying to contest that there is no inclusive growth. It's the only state in the country where the agriculture has been growing in double digits for the last six years consistently in a row. Gujarat is the state you travel in the road from Maharashtra to Gujarat. You cross the border from Maharashtra and you know the difference. Sorry? Mr. Goal is four times not double. Let me come back to industry, if you allow me. Industry, particularly okay, Ribat, industry. Ribat coming now. Ribat, Ribat is from, from Balachandra Mungekar. Particular, yes, Mr. Mungekar. Absolutely what Mr. Piyush Goel is, is, is saying is absolutely erroneous. Let me give two sets of figures. 2001-2004 and 2005-2009 exactly for a period of 10 years. And that's why I did not want comparison between Gujarat versus Haryana. Gujarat, the industrial growth was 3.95% in the first period and 12.65% 2005 and 9. True. Orissa 6.40% and 13.53%. Chhattisgarh 8.10% and the next period 13.33% and Uttarakhand 18.84% and 11.63%. I say that Gujarat is not the crown among jewels because Chhattisgarh, Orissa, Uttarakhand, the, the these were the backward states. The chief states. minister of Gujarat yeah. has made a claim and the chief minister of Gujarat's claim is, and let's bring it very clearly, I'm not misquoting him. He says, we have left all other states far behind in terms of development, we no longer compete with them. Absolute, That's what he says, It right? is unsustainable. So my third point Factually tonight... Factually it is incorrect. Factually it is incorrect. Not only in terms of inclusive growth, Gujarat is at the bottom. Gujarat is 10th among Indian states, including Chhattisgarh, no, Dharkhand. I am saying... My point is, let us discuss about this peace, Lord, discuss Lord about Meghna, economy. Lord Meghnath Desai, I agree with you. Let's not make it a Gujarat versus Haryana debate. Absolutely. Now let's make it a Gujarat versus Bihar debate. Yes. Let's look at Bihar. Let us take inter comparison On Bihar, 1995 to 2000, Bihar grows at 4.7%, Gujarat point grows at 8.01%. By the year 2001 to 2010, Bihar grows at 8.02%, Gujarat grows only up to 8.68%. In other words, Gujarat's rate of growth has grown by about 16%, whereas Bihar's rate of growth in this inter alia 10-year period has gone up by almost 90%. Absolutely. So is that claim correct? Is it, is it right for Narendra Modi to say in terms of growth, I no longer compete with other Indian yes. states? Let's get Dr. Desai's perspective. You know, there are two things to say. Gujarat has been a developed part of India for about a hundred years. It is the first to be industrialized, very high in trade, very high in education and so on. So it's not new that Gujarat is a prosperous state. What is important is to remember that, you know, Narendra Modi, when he went, goes abroad, like anybody else, he exaggerates his success. And because he exaggerates success, we should not fall f and give him more publicity for all this. You know, let's just put it into perspective. As long as Gujarat gets investment, but not at the cost of other states, who wants to complain? But the real problem, I still think, is that he is implicitly criticizing Haryana for the public uh, labor relations disaster that Manasar is. And I'm sorry I told How that Mr. Huda doesn't agree. It's not a legal case of prosecution. It's a case of a serious breakdown in labor employer relations. Why did nobody in Haryana see this coming? 